What's up guys, today I'm not working on my 80 series Land Cruiser, but I am talking about a subject that is very popular in the 80 series community, and that is lockers. Yeah, you heard right, lockers. Everyone in the 80 series community knows about lockers, or they have some idea of what lockers are. Um, and if you're new to the 80 series, or if you're new to four wheel drive in general, I'm going to try to give you a good understanding of what lockers are, uh, why you need them in off road situations, and if they're truly right for you and your vehicle. Many, many times we have heard the term, is it triple locked? Right. And so when somebody's buying an 80 series Land Cruiser, the, the first thing that they'll ask, even if they don't know what it is or what it does, is, is it triple locked? Why? Because we know that a triple locked Land Cruiser is basically king of the off road. It can conquer anything. But a lot of people don't really understand what lockers do. And this video isn't particular to the 80 series Land Cruiser. This video will help you really understand lockers across all four-wheel drive vehicles. So I hope this video will really help you get a full grasp of how lockers work and what they do and how they are essential for off-road situations. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's get started with what are lockers. So the short answer is lockers distribute power evenly to each wheel that is on the front or the rear differential. So if we're talking about the front differential, it distributes a power evenly to the front two wheels uh, when the locker is engaged. Uh, and this is essential for four wheel driving situations because it allows for power to be used on both wheels at the same time. Now you might be thinking, wait, 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 Abasai, um, hold on. My Land Cruiser is full time four wheel drive. Like I already have power distributed evenly to all four wheels and they all spin at the same time, right? No, <laughs> that's not how four wheel drive works. And in my next video, I'm gonna explain how full-time four wheel drive works on the 80 series Land Cruiser. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna explain how lockers work. It was a little hard for me to understand as well when I first heard about this. But to explain this, let me show you how a differential works. So I'm a super visual person, so I'm gonna show you by example because that's the best way for me to understand it and that's the best way you're gonna understand it. So we'll see here, right here in this video, we're gonna see this person trying to go up this obstacle or up this hill and you're gonna see that one wheel spins and the other one doesn't. And they're obviously in four wheel drive, but only one wheel is spinning. That is because it is an open diff. The differential is choosing the path of least resistance. So even if a vehicle has four wheel drive or it is in four wheel drive, and like the Land Cruiser is full time four wheel drive, it doesn't necessarily mean that all wheels are spinning at the same time. It just means that it has the capability to move all four wheels at the same time. Here is where the lockers come in. Yes, the glorious lockers come in. And I'm gonna show you another example. You're gonna notice here, uh, this vehicle has lockers on the front. And, and we'll see it here. You'll notice that the wheel that is in the air is still spinning, but the wheel that is on the ground is also spinning. That means that the power is being distributed evenly to both wheels and therefore allowing it to be way more capable off-road. And now you might be thinking, well, why call it four-wheel drive if only two wheels spin out of the whole vehicle, the one in the front and the one in the rear if you don't have lockers? Um, and that is a fair question. Why call it that? Well, uh, they call it that because it has the ability to have a real true four-wheel drive system installed. and uh, some versions of the 80 series Land Cruiser did come with true four wheel drive. And that's why it makes it one of the most capable off-road vehicles to ever have been sold in US markets. So now we should have a really good understanding of what lockers are and what they do. They distribute power evenly to each of the wheels on the differential, therefore allowing it to be a true four wheel drive and making it really, really capable in off-road situations. And it's helpful to get you out of sticky situations. And I'm gonna show you a few more examples here of what, a, what the differences are between unlock differential 
and the lock differential. And you'll really see the difference here with this uh, lock differential, how easily it goes up the obstacle. And with this unlock differential, how hard it is for it to get up there. And it's primarily because it's always choosing the path of least resistance in the front and in the back. So now the question is, should you buy lockers or you should you buy a Land Cruiser, an 80 series Land Cruiser that is triple locked? And it really depends on what you're gonna use it for, right? Um, obviously the triple locked one is gonna be extremely capable off-road. But if you only plan on using it on some light trails, then you're not gonna use it to its fullest potential. Um, so take that into consideration. You might be spending more money than you need than what you're actually going to use. So just keep that in mind. You might not necessarily need it. But if you plan on doing some crazy off-roading or some serious off-roading, or if you just like the idea of having the most capable off-road vehicle in your hands, then either install front and rear lockers on your 80 series if it's not already locked, or buy yourself an 80 series Land Cruiser that is already triple locked and you will be golden. That is it for the video today, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope you now have a better understanding of how lockers work, what they do, and how they help in off-road situations, and if lockers are right for you. I hope I was able to save you some time and research and maybe a little bit of money at uh, getting you down the right path as to uh, what you truly need for your 80 Series Land Cruiser if you do need lockers, or if you're just testing the waters, you're trying to figure out what the heck all the hype is about about these lockers, Hope this video kind of answers that. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you like Land Cruiser videos and if you like videos like these, I make a ton of videos that I have planned for the future and I've made videos in the past. So feel free to check those out. Give me a like, comment, let me know what you think. Have a good one.